Assalamualaikum and very good morning everyone. Hi. How are you? Good. I'm fine too. So, welcome back to my class Mathematics to DLP Krypton. We are going to continue our lesson on compare fractions and decimals. So, if we say about compare, repeat after me, compare, there are several terms that you need to master, which are larger than and smaller than. The thing is large is larger than the number that is small is smaller than next more than and less than so the number that is larger is more the number that is smaller is less remember we learn in class larger is increasing smaller is decreasing and one more term is equal to that is same got it good okay now we want to compare fraction and decimals. We already learned the relationship between tens fraction and decimals, right? So we can compare them easily. For example, 1 over 10 is? Yes, 0 0.1. 3 over 10 is? Good, 0. 0.3 so look at this 10 grid which was colored 1 2 3 4 5 6 part 6 part out of 10 so the fraction is 6 over 10 we convert into decimal, it becomes 0 0.6. There is one decimal place, 0 0.6. Next, there are 1, 2, 3 blue parts out of 10 parts. So, the fraction is 3 over 10 and the decimal is 0 0.3. Easy, right? Now, we compare these two grids. For the first 10 grid, I have Colored 1, 2 with red color. 2 parts out of 10 is 2 over 10. Good. How about 1, 2, 3, 4 part of 10 which was colored with green color. Can you tell me what is the decimal for this grid? Yes, 0 0.4. Or if you want to tell in fraction, it is 4 over 10. But I want you to tell me using decimal so 
zero point four. Good. Now let's compare it as two over ten is smaller than zero point four. Why? Look here. The red part and the green part is not the same. The red one is smaller than the green one. So, 2 over 10 is smaller than 0 0.4. Remember, smaller than can also say it as less than. So, 2 over 10 is less than 0 0.4. Now, can you see these two 10 grids? Okay, tell me how many parts that have been colored as orange and how many parts colored with green? Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight orange part out of ten. So the decimal is zero point eight. How about the green one? One, two, three, four, five, and six. So, the fraction, I want you to tell me the fraction. Yes, good. 6 over 10. Now, 0 0.8 and 6 over 10. Which one is larger? Which one is smaller? Can you tell me? Good. 0 0.8 is larger than 6 over 10. Can you see the difference between these two pictures? Good. Now, do you remember what is other term that can replace larger than? Good. More than. So, 0 0.8 is more than 6 over 10. Hmm. How about these two pictures? Both have three colored parts. Let's see together. The first one, if I want to use decimal, the decimal is 0. 0.3 and the second one is 3 over 10 so 0 0.3 and 3 over 10 is the same good remember I, I tell you about the term that means the same yes equal to so 0 0.3 is equal to 3 over 10 okay remember remember tens fraction and decimals are siblings we will see more sibling of them next year for example, hundreds fraction and thousands fraction, ten thousands fraction, and so on. Let's prove it using number line. Okay, firstly, remember the number line that we learn in class when the number increase it means it become 
larger. When it decreases, it becomes smaller. Good. So, 1 over 10 is equal to 0 0.1. 2 over 10 is equal to 0 0.2. 3 over 10 is equal to 0 0.3. And so on. 9 over 10 is equal to 0 0.3. 0.9 Now look at B 0 0.8 is more than 3 over 10 How come we get it more than? 0 0.8 It come after or before 3 over 10? Yes it comes after 3 over 10. So, after 3 over 10 to 0 0.8, it is increasing. So, 0 0.8 is more than 3 over 10. Look at C. 0 0.2 and 5 over 10. See, 0 0.2 comes after or before 5 over 10. Yes, 0 0.2 comes before, before 5 over 10. It means 0 0.2 is smaller than 5 over 10. D. 4 over 10 and 0 0.6. 4 over 10 comes before 0 0.6. So, it means 4 over 10 is less than 0 0.6. Remember, who comes before is smaller. Who comes after is larger. Understand? Good. Okay, class. That's all for now. I hope you understand and you can repeatedly listen and watch this video if you don't understand or ask me personally so that I can assist you to answer questions. Thank you. Bye. Assalamualaikum.